fam. Well, welcome back to another episode of Welcome to the Channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Rich and thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, if you saw my last video, then you know that I'm up here in Montauk and uh, that right there, that little tiny, tiny blue car is my rental car because I flew up uh, to JFK from uh, Palm Beach, Florida, rented that little thing, we drove out here yesterday. And uh, if you saw the last video, uh, you saw that I got on an okay little like morning surf bite, nothing crazy. We hit the ocean and then hit the back bay and caught a few fish. But uh, now we're gonna get out here in my buddy Greg's boat and we're gonna head out into the rips. We got a beautiful day, incoming tide. Things should be pretty good. Thanks for the invite, bro. Let's go. It's yeah, been a while. Dude, let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. Got a bunch of waters. Uh, can you open that hatch right there? I'll toss them in. Yes, sir. Let's do it. I got some more in my pockets. <laughs> One sec. All right, well, we're gonna untie the rig and uh, head on out. Got some cool reggae music going on right now. Let's go catch some fish. I'm gonna start out with this two ounce green fishaholic squid bucktail. Might have to go to three ounces, you know, but I'm not sure until we drop down and see how strong uh, the current is. All right, let's tie our jig on. I've got a 60 pound fluorocarbon leader tied on right now. And uh, I've got something pretty cool to show you. Check out the new stick here. And this is uh, the first prototype for the next edition of the Dark Matter Fishaholic Inshore Series Spinning Rod. And uh, right now is uh, gonna be the first uh, trial to see how it performs and uh, how it uh, catches some big fish, hopefully. <clears throat> fish on? Probably a porgy. Nice. Wait, <laughs> yeah, you think it's a porgy? <laughs> hey, they're good eating. <laughs> Marking a lot of little stuff along the bottom. That porgy's turning the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big pork chop. Wow. Monster. Oh, and he ate the fish. Holy shad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, sure. Throw them in, you know, he, they're good eating. Oh, there's a big fish. Oh yeah. Whoo, thumped the bucktail right on the high spot. Yeah, this feels good. It might not be that big, maybe like 10, 15 pounds. Uh, yeah, and that would be good. Oh man. This fish is ripping. Oh yeah, he's not that big. Slot size fish. Nice. Thanks for the net job, yeah. Greg. That's a fat one. Yeah, it's a good one. Sweet. Nice. Crush the two ounce fishaholic squid bucky. 
If you want to help support the channel and pick some up, just uh, click the link in the description. And uh, also, by the way, the reel I'm using with uh, the prototype Fishaholic rod is uh, the Visser number five. And the length of this rod is seven foot, and uh, the line is rated from 15 to 30 pound, like braided line, and lower weight half to two and a half ounces. There's another one. Let's go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo! This feels good. This fish feels a little heavier. Oh, yeah. Also, so this rod is like, you know, just a heavy action spinning rod. And being that uh, we already have like a medium fast inshore series i wanted something with a little heavier action so i could do this type of fishing like this or if i'm down south target big snook with it and tarpon there we go do you have the grippers i'll just put them on the grippers like the big uh rapala grippers Sweet. Yeah. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Nice. This one choked the jig. Sweet. Down she goes. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. yeah. We're getting somewhere. Wow. All right. Well, we're kind of getting somewhere. That was probably like a 18 pound bass. So not bad, uh, but we're drifting faster. It seems like now. So we actually, I think we got that bass probably right in, this, in the same spot where we got the, I got the first one right in the high spot where it like comes up from like 50 to like 35. And uh, now we're on the back side of it and it's dropped off to like 43. And uh, you know, we're not really getting any bites here. so. We're going back up for another drift. Check this out, it's a lot of fish right there, suspended. They're probably chasing that bait up and that's what's causing all that right there. Oh, there he is, oh, he, is he still on? Yeah, got him. <laughs> I'm, I'm really surprised I still got this fish. I set the hook and he like swam right at me and it was slack. Or wait, this, I don't know what this is. It might be just a big porgy that I snagged or something. Oh, no, it's a bluefish. Yeah. That's why it was a weird bite. No, I'm good. All right, it's a chunky blue. This is kind of what I caught this morning on top water with some light tackle, which was fun. Look at those vice grips with teeth. All right, let's get back down there. We got that bluefish uh, in like 55, 58 feet of water. So much deeper than where we got the bass. Oh my gosh, there's one. As I was cranking it up, that was sick. Woo, yeah. 
Feels decent. Net. Another slot size bass. Uh, sure, you can give him a net. Oh, he's not done yet. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Thanks, Greg. Yep. Sick bite. Down she goes. All right, we got that blue and that bass there, like five minutes apart. There's one. A fish on. Yeah, good. I don't know. I don't think it's it's too big. Feels on kind of on the small side. Were you down bottom? Are you? Yeah, I was right above the bottom. Again, right, right coming up on right now. Yeah, a little schooly. Oh, he's got a follower too. Smallest one of the day right here. You on? Nice. All right. Boom. Greg's hooked up on the green. <laughs> nice. That looks like a big fish. Yeah, it's probably about the size of my second one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Found it. Let's go. Hell yeah. There he is. Yeah. No other way. Just lift it right over. Yeah. Not so good. This might be the biggest one of the day so far. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's go. <laughs> this might be the 30 pounder we're looking for. Oh, this is going to pull me around the boat. <laughs> oh. Getting my workout in today. Oh no, come on. Yeah, he snagged in the back. It's like a, you know, 15, 18 pounder maybe. What a tease. No, not even. It's probably just like oh, man. 15, 16 pounds. Dang. They feel a lot heavier when you're pulling them in sideways. <laughs> Down she goes. Birds right there. Lots of life. All right, well, we came up for another drift. 
And uh, I'm actually gonna switch up what we're doing. And uh, at J&H the other day, I uh, picked up this uh, flutter spoon. And uh, I wanna try and see if I can get a fish on it. So we might go back to the bucktail, but let's just clip it off for a little bit. Fish. Look at the screen. Oh wow, it's lit up. Wow guys, look at the screen. I think we might have a chance of getting something on the flutter spoon. <laughs> there he is. Whacked the flutter spoon. Oh, it was such a sick eat. To like feel the, the spoon just going like this and all of a sudden just getting thumped. Oh, that was epic. No, I think I'm good. It actually might be a bluefish. Oh no, it's a slot size bass. Maybe like just about a keeper. All right, one for the flutter spoon. All right, guys, so uh, it's probably been like 30, 45 minutes now since uh, you saw me get that one on the flutter spoon. And uh, Greg and I have been kind of like all over now and, and the bite is really uh, dwindled because uh, the tide went slack and it's actually starting to go out now. And uh, there's still some fish busting around on top but uh, for the most part, uh, the better action has gone. But uh, I think we're gonna head uh, you know, back towards uh, uh, the dock, but like stop at one spot on the way back uh, that's closer to shore where there should be some good outgoing uh, water flowing by and maybe we could throw some top water and uh, get some fish to eat it there. Uh, here we can't really throw top water, even though we're seeing some fish busting because uh, the shear waters are insane. They're uh, diving on the plugs and like picking them up out of the water. Or they're even diving on the diamond jigs and chasing them down and grabbing. They like one shear water grabbed uh, Greg's diamond jig on the drop. Like it was, and he was just holding it like on the surface. That was crazy. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> like he swam down to get it. But uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next spot. Let's get them. We're gonna start off with uh, the dark matter fishaholic pulsar popper. Oh, there he is! Oh, he dropped it. Oh no, he's still on there. Yes. I think this is a real big one. Gator blue here. What those right there? Yeah, I'll grab them. There we go. All right, there we go. He unhooked himself. 
Perfect. Alright, fun chopper blue. Oh, you got swirled on? Got him? Nice. I want to get a bite right next to the boat. Yo, there's a whole school of blues right here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that! Oh, that was sick! Oh my gosh! Woo! Yeah, I got it. <laughs> that was epic. I saw like, I don't know, 50 bluefish cruise right under the surface of the water. That was epic. Doubled up! Woo! <laughs> Oh, lost them right there. Quick release. I know, right? I don't have to deal with them. <laughs> I bet I can get a, another one really quick. Oh, look. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, again. Right there. That was epic. Oh my gosh, there's so many bluefish here. Oh, quick release. <laughs> I saw a bunch go that way. Oh, nice. Looks like there was two like on it at once. Yeah, we're fighting for it. Oh, there is. He's right on it. I'm going to double this up right now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Oh, there's one right there. That's a good one. Oh yeah. A bunch, he's got a bunch underneath him. Oh, he's ripping now. Super fun action with these blues. All right, fishaholics. Well, I think uh, that is about a wrap. Caught a lot of fish today. Greg, do you know how many <laughs> you think you caught today? I lost count. I don't lost know. count. I <laughs> no, lost count, uh, especially with these blues. Like, uh, you know, I'm only going to show you a fraction of like all the action that uh, we, you know, I had or, or Greg had too. Um, you know, he's unhooking the, the last fish that we're gonna bring aboard today. Uh, my arms are tired. Are your arms tired? <laughs> Shot. <laughs> yeah, we're, like we're both tired and hungry, so we're gonna pack things up and uh, hopefully get out here uh, another day this week and uh, or many days this week and you know maybe find some bigger fish or do something different. But uh, yeah. Hell yeah, it was a good day. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more. Uh, I'll put all the tackle and equipment down below. And uh, until the next video, like always, live to fish, fish to live. There's one. Fish on!